coming up in ViewCast, why are these alligators so sensitive and what does it mean for us? Ants, they're smarter than the average bug, find out why. And a worldwide girl power movement comes to Vanderbilt. Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. Did these guys look sensitive to you? A Vanderbilt neuroscience student who spends lots of time with alligators says these ferocious looking reptiles are much more sensitive than you might think. And it could lead to a better understanding of human senses. They're not too bad at all. These are at sizes that are not too intimidating. Vanderbilt grad student Duncan Leach isn't afraid to wrestle alligators. At least not ones this size. In fact, he's been caring for these little guys since before they hatched. So these are American alligator eggs that I um, helped gather in Louisiana, and I've been incubating them in these, these small incubators. Duncan is raising these gators to study the thousands of tiny dots surrounding their jaws. From what I can tell, the dots are extremely sensitive touch receptors, and in fact, they seem to be as sensitive as our own hands. And make them fierce predators because the nerves connected to these dots help gators sense even the tiniest ripples in water. Many times the alligators will snap very quickly after uh, touching something. Duncan and his professor, neuroscientist Ken Catania, say research like this is important because the same trigeminal nerve that helps gators snap can be found in us. It's the same nerve that is in human beings that is responsible for touch and movement in our face. It helps us get a better idea of how different nervous systems are adapted for unique situations. In general, in our lab, we're interested in sensory specialists. And one reason for that is because they often can do something really well, and therefore you can study a particular aspect about either brain organization or sensory systems that's much harder to study in other species. So and by studying these highly sensitive animals, we can better understand more advanced brains like humans. So this is one that was just born last week. Duncan has been doing research with Professor Catania since he was an undergrad, and though his research is sophisticated, he's soft on these baby gators. I've been bitten by some of the little ones before and it's not, it's not too bad at all. There's lots of fascinating neuroscience research happening for undergrads. To learn more about the program in neuroscience, go to vanderbilt.edu, search neuroscience. Now those ants were especially smart, but why does it seem like ants know exactly where your food is? <laughs> Vanderbilt scientists say the nose knows. Research led by Vandy researcher Larry Zweibel finds ants have up to five times more odor receptors than most other insects. Zweibel says this sharp sense of smell may explain why ants form such highly organized colonies with division of labor and communication because the ants use their odor sensing skills with chemical communication. Pretty cool. Ready to dig for more research? It'll make you a smart bunny. Just go to news.vanderbilt.edu slash research. I keep using my energy, pushing and shoving my way to peace. Almost there. Vanderbilt students, faculty, and staff are joining a worldwide movement to help put an end to the oppression of women and girls. This year, Vanderbilt freshmen and others are reading and discussing the book, Half the Sky, by Nicholas Kristof and Cheryl Wooden. The themes of the book are also part of a special PBS documentary. The challenge that women and girls face around the world is not an easy topic to talk about, but we really think it is the moral challenge of this century. These problems exist because we've created them. So it's up to us to fix them. The way that Nick and Cheryl use stories to break through the indifference that still exists when you talk about women and girls is exactly the right way to go about it. We understand the story, always. This is how people get engaged. That documentary will be featured at Vanderbilt as part of the International Lens film series on November 5th and 7th at Surratt Cinema. 
and the book is sparking even more events on campus. Go to Vanderbilt's homepage and search Half the Sky for more information. You can also learn more about Vanderbilt's Human Identities Initiative at vanderbilt.edu slash human identities. Brant Snedeker on the edge of the green at 17, looking like he was scrambling, but not for long as he holds it for birdie. One and a big shout out to former Vanderbilt golfer Brant Snedeker. He won the Tour Championship and FedEx Cup. The winning paycheck for both, a sweet $11.44 million. The Commodore is impressed. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.